In April of 2004, a college student from Vancouver was kidnapped at gunpoint. And over the next several days, he was beaten, threatened, and held for a large ransom. It took more than a week for the police to rescue him. Bosco knew where the victim was all along, in his basement. Bosco Poon grew up a shy, insecure immigrant from Hong Kong. He longed to fit in somewhere, and a Chinese gang drew him in. They introduced me to a world that was so foreign to me, um, weed, uh, ecstasy. But Bosco had a dream, to become a musician. He left his friends and moved to another city to pursue a music career. I came out and, and become sober because I was so determined that I want to enter to the music industry. Two years later, his old friends called him with the offer to make some quick cash. Rent them a vacant house his parents owned, no questions asked. He did. He soon found out they had kidnapped a man and hidden him in the basement until the ransom was paid. They were very desperate. It almost feels like they were like a bunch of animals. I struck it in my head, like, should I just run down there and untie him and get him to the police station? Or should I just call 911? But also at the back of my mind, like all this fear was there. It's like constantly telling me, like, what if they find out that I, I let the guy go and, and then they turn their rages on me? It was then I realized, like, what have I done? Within a week, police had tracked down and arrested the kidnappers, including Bosco. I was put into the police car and then into the, the wagon, looking at my parents sobbing, looking at all the neighbors, like, poking their, their fingers at me. Bosco was convicted for his part in the kidnapping and sentenced to 12 years. He entered prison scared and alone. I was like, I don't know how can I survive in here? It was full of violence, drugs, depravity, broken hearts, pain, screaming, crying. So I did a lot of time to reflect on stuff, which I never did before. The reality of a situation hit him hard. I was sobbing, crying out to God. I was like, Lord, are you real? <laughs> well, if you are real, can you talk to me? Because I have nobody else. And then this scripture came to me. Jesus says, I'm always with you until the end of the age. I claimed that scripture. I was like, Lord, talk to me if you're real. Because I really need someone to talk to right now. My heart was fully ready to receive God and to have a real relationship with him. Bosco surrendered his life to Jesus. A few weeks later, while in prayer, he had an incredible vision. I saw a cloud of great white light coming down from heaven. And then this light just getting closer and closer till it, it reaches into my heart, lifted up my heart. I was like electrified. And then all that I could hear was a voice. Don't be afraid. I am your Lord and I will rescue you. Ever since that experience, I, I talked to him like I talk to you right now every day while I was in prison. And he just opened up my spiritual ears. He has experienced the power of God in his life. Something changed in him that caught him on fire. He was always talking to somebody about the Lord or coming into my office and saying, can we pray for so-and-so? The Lord challenged me one day to pray for my enemies. To be honest with you, I, I did not want to do that. I was like, no, Lord, this is too hard. But he was like, no, take my love and do it. My love is so much bigger than yours. Just, just, just focus your eyes on me and, and just try to do it. And, and when I did that, even though with tears streaming coming down from my eyes while I was praying for all my enemies, I found freedom. So God rescued me from that as well, rescued me from hatred. Fosco served four years behind bars. He is out of prison on parole. Today, he's surrounded with a new group of friends, including Canadian singer and songwriter Marika and Christian recording artist Brian Dirksen. He shares his testimony and music with others, hoping they will meet Jesus as he did. The same Jesus who revealed himself to me, the same Jesus that has rescued me, is the same Jesus that can come to any one of us out here. I only live for Jesus. 
because he saved me, he gave me light. He showed me so many things. He's the source of my life and he's my Lord and my savior.